Vicky here with you and today I want to make some painty envelopes because I've got some mail that I want to send out and I want to have special envelopes for it. So I've pulled out my Dalusion paints because I haven't been using them in quite a long time. So I figured it's time to use them before they go bad on me. So let's uh, start using them. So far I've never had issues with them not being good but I've heard of people that they dried off or gunked up or something with them so these envelopes are made with um, about nine inches by by 12 by 11 not quite sure but they're recycled it's one of those envelopes that it's a security envelope that we get our um, bank statements in at work so we get a f we've got a few companies so we get a few per month and uh, I keep these for this type of stuff or for journal covers these are quite precious to me actually because, uh, like I said, I can use them on all kinds of different things. So, that's the pink. This is a very messy process. But I don't mind. Because uh, it's kind of fun. And that's what part of mixed media is, right? It's to have fun and, and being uh, messy. I don't want to put too much, too much yellow because I want to make sure that I've got enough room for the other colors. And I'm trying to go with the uh, flap color and I don't want to contaminate my yellow with the pink. So that's why I'm going with different parts of it, of the baby wipes. So that's enough yellow on this side. Let's put just a tad of turquoise. If I can open it up. And I pulled out a bunch of BB wipes in preparation for this. Because I knew I was going to use baby wipes to to do this. And it's very messy. So I'm using Art Guard, which is a product that you can use on your hands to kind of protect them. So this way tomorrow when I go into work, my hands technically should be relatively clean. But I have to admit that often it's not the case. My hands are not all that clean. Okay, so turquoise is done. I'm gonna wipe up some of the excess of all the different colors. You can see all the colors that I've used so far. Okay, so turquoise goes out and I'm just gonna use a bit of the orange and because I'm using the baby wipes it really dries off fast because it's not it's not like a paintbrush where there's a lot of paint there's just a tiny bit of paint I'm loving how these are turning off. So I don't know if you guys are liking this, but this is exactly what I was looking for. A nice painty mess. Then I can always 
go back in and I'm going to be, I think I'm going to try to do a bit of stenciling. And I'm not sure if I'm going to collage or not on these. Okay, so we've got all of the colors used up. And I'm really loving the big mess that is coming along. I think getting an envelope like this in the mail, it just brightens up your day. I mean, you can't, you cannot not be happy to get something like this. It's so colorful. And even the mailman must be happy to be delivering something like this instead of the typical uh, mail that they usually get. Okay, so I'll turn this over. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So let's go back with the pink. And I've got my pink baby wipe. Might as well use it as much as possible. And that one hasn't been contaminated since it was the first color that I used. <clears throat> now I'm going to have to find a way of putting a label or I'm going to have to um, write in a very dark fashion if I want the address to show properly. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but this is going to be part of my items that I'm doing for Rebecca's challenge. I'm faring along, faring along. When I see other people that are at 50 some odd things, I'm a bit discouraged. I feel like I'm never going to get to that point. But I will one day <laughs> hopefully not too bad too late because I'm gonna go crazy I love my shopping at least my thrift store shopping I mean I'm not buying all that much crafty stuff other than thrift store stuff and yes, you will say that the thrift store stuff is a lot, and it is, but it's not the same thing as buying, you know, regular supplies. To me, there's a, there's a question of recycling as well that's involved in, in that process. Whoops, I'm missing one. So it's not the same as purchasing stuff that's completely new out of the box that I don't, uh, I haven't done anything with. Okay, so those two colors are done. This way. Let's do the turquoise. Those are not necessarily colors that you would put together, but I think they kind of go together so long as it doesn't make mud. I prefer usually using the cover just because 
it's less thick as when I plunge in within the the bottle. Okay, and then got one more. And let's use up some orange. And try to fill in those areas where there's less colors. And I'm hoping I'm staying within the frame as much as possible. I'm working with the camera above. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work so well. It's kind of hard when you're uh, in the midst of creating to remember to check whether you're in frame or not. Okay, so my envelopes are quite painty and I'm quite happy with those. And my hands are quite painty as well. I think it's going to take a whole lot of cleaning. The good thing is dilution paints usually are fairly easy to remove. Okay, so dry this off a bit. kind of nice to be working in my garage. I have not done that all winter. So it's fun. Okay, so I'm going to put this on top of this and it's going to have to wait to dry. I'm going to work on this side first. <coughs> and I think I'm going to stamp first and then I'll do um, some stenciling. I love using this this bottle as my embellishment, my stamp, I should say. Okay, and I have a tiny one. I find it. It's on the one. Where is it? This one here. So it's just a gizmo that I had that got into my stash at one point. Okay, and then uh, I'm just gonna put a bit of white. And I don't think I'm gonna do any collage on this here because um, I'm kind of liking how it's turning off. Isn't that pretty? I'm just loving this. This would make a nice journal cover. Okay, so that's one side done. Put it here. Now, turn this over. Let's do the same thing here. I'm trying to use the uh, ink before I the stenciling because I tend to put some paint in my in my ink pad and now my ink pad is quite disgusting okay Okay, 
it's rare that I get my stenciling to be exactly like I like, but this time it's really turning out pretty awesome. Okay, so we're at the last one on that side. Then I still need to do the other side. Uh, where's my other little gizmo? No, oh, there it is. I'm so happy with this. Oh my god, guys, I'm really, really loving this. I'm gonna have to try to make one for myself. And there it is. Okay, so I've got all three sides done. Let's turn it over and do the other side. And I'm, I'm really liking how it turns out with the top flap. And I'm loving that I'm using bits of papers from my stash that I really want to use up my stash of uh, leftover papers so that I can actually use more. Because I've got lots of 12 by 12 and lots of 6 by 6. And uh, I definitely don't use them enough. So that's an envelope that's complete on both sides, so I'm going to let that dry. Let's turn the other one over. Okay, then uh, just a tad paint. And uh, there it is. I love this guy so, 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 so much. These are probably one of the best sets of PT envelopes that I've done in like forever. I kind of want to keep them for myself. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so finish with the ink. I'm gonna have to change this pad soon because once the challenge is over, because look how disgusting it is now. Yeah, I'm not very careful with my ink pads. Need just a tad bit more white paint. And this is, this is deco art white paint. And it's the white paint that I get at the dollar store. And uh, voila! So here it is, guys. Both sides. 
loving how they turned out. I hope that you do too. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. I would love to know how you do your envelopes. And uh, yeah, it's just really fun to use, reuse those uh, security envelopes and just stitch them together. And uh, that's it. And they make it through the mail just fine. And uh, they're just within the regulation size. Um, it's just a question of the weight that you have to be careful about. But other than that, they're just fine. And uh, it just makes, I think, happy, happy mail when you get something that comes into this envelope. You just need to put a label for the name. So that's it. Bye, everyone.